From Canada to the UK to practically everywhere in between, the summer of Smash had delivered on a myriad of rip-roaring events from all over the world. And with the fall here, it's now time to talk about the season's opening main event, Riptide 2023. Thankfully, no arms were broken in this year's iteration, but Riptide 2023 still brought to the table a wide array of stalwart North American talent like Lod, Kadoran, Aklo, Amsa, and Moki. It also boasted the inclusion of some of Melee's most elusive marquee names in Wizrobe and Plup. And with Zayn opting to drop from the event, the time had finally come for a player other than Zayn, Cody Schwab, Jmook, or Leffen to take the throne in 2023. I'm turned down for Walt, and here are the top five performances from Riptide 2023 in this week's JV5. So He's yeah. got it, a little trick shot from Josh, man, right they there. the first commandment, thou shalt not sleep on the kid. Oh my goodness. There are many words that can be used to describe the former third best player in Dallas-Fort Worth, Texas, Justice. The first being humanitarian, as he regularly sets up charity fundraisers to both raise money for school supplies for his students, as well as for sick children who are suffering from major diseases like cancer. Another is Melee Grinder, owing to the fact that he is one of the most dedicated tournament goers in Texas, even having attended over 100 tournaments in 2021, according to his Smash Wiki page. The third is Combo Video Connoisseur, being the creator of the And Friends series, which drops actual movie-length combo videos. And following an incredible run at Riptide 2023, we might just have to start referring to Justice as a bona fide prospect of the game. Winning his first three sets of the event in a row without dropping a game, the Lone Star State representative found himself coming to blows with a number one player north of the border, Moki, for a spot in Winterside Round 2 pools. Understandably, against a streaking top five player, Justice would take his first loss of the event here to Moki in a quick and dominant 3-0 fashion. Despite his one-sided eviction from the winner's bracket, however, Justice wound up turning in a wholly superb loser's run, which saw him topple Ferreti, Coin, Zamu in a DQ, Chango, and most impressively Spark before falling to Zuppy in top 16, 3-0, ending his run at 13th place. <laughs> oh shit, all right, oh wait. Two, two. Oh. oh, that could have been three, easy. Oh. Shine, shine, oh. oh. Don't go, oh, if he did go for you, it. I no. take precaution. Oh, shit. Oh, is he going to do it? Oh. Hey. Just with the offsets. Hey, hey, hey. Oh. We didn't land on Plymouth Rock. We're brothers. <laughs> We're brothers. <laughs> Before the 43rd ranked player in the world, B-Bats, could even play his first set of the weekend, he already had to overcome a lot of adversity outside of the game. For starters, he and his friend began their weekend by flying to the completely wrong airport on Thursday, landing in Columbus instead of Cleveland. This forced the pair to stay in an entirely different hotel for the night and take two separate cars to make the more than two-hour drive halfway across the state the next day to reach the tournament venue in time. Regardless of these setbacks, B-Bats nonetheless showed up to Riptide 2023 looking in top form, with him nearly making top 16 winner side with a win over Zamu, losing only to newly minted top 10 member Kadoran after a back-and-forth Game 5 heartbreaker. Fortunately for Peach fans around the world, B-Bats ended up bouncing back from the loss by netting two of his biggest wins of this year over Magi and Aklo in two Game 5 slobber knockers to make his first ever major top 8, where he would ultimately lose to Ben 3-2 for a solid 5th place finish. A little bit too desperate B-Bats is going to have to start reading. He finds a grab! All right, is now he going to be able to close it grab out? is not that brutal. You're going to go to the middle of the stage and usually just take an aerial, but now Great Peach is close this out. Great Peaches close this out. Another nair. Oh another my god! One. He side beats high. He's really high, but no jump. Went to the ledge. Oh, he's gonna ledge dash. Oh, B Bats runs all the way to center. Aklo's just waiting there. <laughs> Menacingly. Ah! Ah! Is that that's a it. throw? And that's Woo! it! B Bats is in top eight! <laughs> that B -Bats is crazy. B Bats is in top eight of Riptide! Barely closing it out against Aklo. Such a testament to what his a skill. When Zayn announced over Twitter, or X, or whatever, that he was dropping out of Melee singles at Riptide 2023, citing being sick, it meant that the door for a place in Winterside Top 8 was suddenly wide open for anyone to claim. Looking to take full advantage of this rare opportunity, the Midwest Premier Chic player Ben needle-stormed his way through both waves of pools to nab his spot in Top 16 with victories over Faust, Nun, and Flash. 
Now standing just a stone's throw away from winner's semis, all Ben had to do was make it through one more opponent in the form of fan favorite Axe, making it their second meeting of the year after Ben suffered a disappointing Game 5 loss to Axe at Gommel 2023. This set here at Riptide also went the full 5 game distance, with Ben sadly coming up short yet again against his Arizonian adversary 3-2. All was not lost yet for the Minnesota Melee prospect however, as Ben went on to earn an appearance in the event's championship bracket with a high profile 3-1 win over one of Canada's finest in Zuppy. There, Ben would make it all the way to loser's quarters by defeating B-Bats in an exciting 3-2 set before having his tournament life snuffed out once and for all by Moki, ending his run at 5th place. Oh, oh I think, Bob I loves think the down smash. Bob, Bob definitely wants to down smash. Alright. Okay, now, oh, oh Ben oh, on the ropes. Sick. He's rolling back. Being able to get that slide off, that was huge. In the oh, cut. He, oh he my reached, god. He reached, no. he got the low bang. He doesn't have a I double he's, jump. He's oh, dead. Oh, he's dead. No. Oh. oh. So exciting. So close. That I is... wanted a game five so bad. Oh. Taking a break from the operating room to fulfill his dream of becoming the best melee player in the world, Lot actually encountered a major roadblock on his bracket path at Riptide. That roadblock being a shocking 3-1 upset to one of the preeminent Captain Falcon mains, Gatsu. Never one to overly dwell on his losses though, Lod got right back up and proceeded to embark on easily the most noteworthy losers run of the entire tournament. On his conquest of the lower bracket, he clawed his way into losers finals with wins over world class opposition in Wens, Grab, Flash, Polish, Kadoran, Amsa, Axe, and Moki. Waiting for him in the possible penultimate set of the evening was none other than the recent Egg Dog Esports sponsee, Wizrobe. And after a tight game 5 battle between two of the most stoic persons in the game, it was Wizrobe who ultimately prevailed to end Lod's time in Ohio at a magnificent third place. Oh. Yep. Nice. Oh, doesn't get the slide. Oh, yep. doesn't get the. Oh, thank yo. you. I was like, just like that. Just like that. Like that. Not that good. All right, so Loki in, back in it. Uh, oh no! I didn't get good the eye either. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yep. In line. Uh, that was it great. I I'm really impressed with a lot of just adjustments from game one, and then you go to like game two, and then from there four. That was crazy. That right. was like crazy. Nah, yeah, that was crazy adjustments. Before we unveil our top moment from Riptide 2023, here are some honorable mentions which deserve their own recognition. Crike for placing 17th after losing in round one pools. Ossify for being a complete nut, placing 13th with wins over Freezes, Panda, and Ginger. He, he either made it to where he had to grab a ledge or commit to something, and it was like either you sweet spot on reaction. Um, yeah. There you go. The counter works this time. Order. No, it's and the up B. Reverse up B, oh and Ossify up a full stock. Mitchie King could never. Oh, oh wait. He's what? Dead. No uh, jump. Yeah, he might be dead. Yep. Yeah. Wow. And Ossify with the upset. Yeah. 3 1. Over Ginger. That was crazy. Man. Yeah, that's. This Marth is. It's real. Really no. Good. Bats for being genuinely wholesome. Uh, who got pretty far beating none. Oh! oh let's go, Mom. Let's go, Mom. Let's Shout out to all your moms out there. Love you, Mom. In the few and far between instances that we've seen Plup compete in this year, he generally tended to perform exceedingly well, not dipping below fourth at any major he's attended so far this year, while also compiling wins over Melee's top brass like Wizrobe, Aklo, Kadoran, Hungrybox, and Amsa. And with Zay no longer in the bracket at Riptide, Plup swiftly began to emerge as a heavy favorite to take the event. Cruising his way into top eight after dusting two Tran, Preeminent, Ginger, and Aklo, one of the best Sheik players of all time effortlessly vanquished his first two opponents, Axe and Wizrobe, while dropping just a single game to set himself up in a spot in Winterside Grand Finals. Coming up from the loser's bracket to cross controllers with Plup one last time was Wizrobe, who, interestingly enough, actually lost in Grand Finals to Plup at the last major they attended together, CEO 2023, back in June. Looking like the silent, stone-faced assassin we've all come to know him as, Wizrobe would surprisingly take the first set of Grands away from Plup with a close 3-2 victory to force a bracket reset. And for a time in set 2, it looked like he was almost on the verge of winning the entire tournament by almost mounting a crazy reverse 3-0. Alas, it just wasn't in the cards for Wizzy as Plup managed to put it all together in the 10th and final game to get the better of his Floridian nemesis to lay claim to his second major title of 2023, making Riptide the official property of the Plup Club. Down all these right. tilts. <laughs> Plup, yeah, Plup is definitely cheering right now. He's, <laughs> a, oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's camping ash, bro, but he's... Oh, oh nice. I, I, yeah, I yeah, yeah. 
Yes, it ah, is. Ah, Pup gets it done. Pup is your rip time. Yeah. 2023 champion. Let's go. Beautiful set. Well Shots to Wizzy well for. It looked over. Oh, yeah. And then he definitely over. made a set of. Yeah, like, no. no. It's not. Gets the game on foul. Shouts to Plup, played yeah. amazing. Yeah, Plup got it together because he was going to get packed up. He was getting packed up. I'm yeah. like, oh, I don't know, man. <laughs> Hey, thanks so much for watching the JV5. Thank you to our top tier patrons and YouTube members, Avishua Stein, Bobby Wasabi, Eric is Cool, Juniper, NNG Esports, Storm, and Tingly Jungle for supporting the channel. You should check out some of the best moments from Shine 2023. Webbins broke my heart, and I'm pretty upset about it. And also, while you guys are still here, I feel like it's an important time to remind you that this video is now property of the Plup Club. Please place your hands behind your back and...